How are you all doing? In this video I'm going to be turning this Oh God Let me get around like that <laughs> Oh my God oh. Looking like this <laughs> And you won't believe what I had to go through To get this, like this Oh my God. Okay then, some of you may remember the, uh, what was it called? More useless parts video a couple of weeks back where I bought a CBR 1000 F wheel to, <laughs> to replace this one because the disc is knackered, the tire is knackered, the uh, sprocket is okay, bearings are okay for the moment but they probably will be changed in the future. Uh, but the wheel I bought had a good disc on it, had good tyre on it, but no, the tyre had cracking in the tread, the disc had fractures on the outside. But luckily enough, I managed to send it back for 60p, the postman came and collected it in his van, took it away, cost me 60p, and then I got a total refund, so that was all good. And with the total refund, I bought this, 30 quid. Uh, I don't know how well you can see the tread. There is a wear bar. That is pretty good to us not fall off brand new. So that is all good. And I think it's a 2020 tyre as well, so that's not bad as well. And I also managed to buy this 20 quid so what's that 55 quid altogether and uh, yes no fracturing whatsoever Trevor and there's no lip on it no deep scoring absolutely fantastic perfectly splendid So, all good things come to those who wait, I guess. Now then, let's get it stripping this down. Okay then, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove this manky disc. And, uh, I don't know if you've ever removed a disc before, but they can be quite tricky and you can knacker up the bolts with your Allen key. So, Make sure you clean all the old out the best you can. <coughs> and I wouldn't recommend using an iron key like this. You probably might get away with it sometimes, but uh, not all the time. We could use an iron key just a metal one like this. But no, I'm not going to risk that either. Luckily, I've got a socket with a built-in Allen key. So I'm going to tap it in with a screw with the hammer to make sure it's in nice and tight and then go at it with the ratchet and if it doesn't seem uh, like it's going to play ball I'm going to use the impact gun because I don't want any more dramas with this bloody Probably be easier if I stand the bike up. Stand the bike up, stand the wheel up like this. And I've got more leverage. Oh dear. That's two. Come on, baby. That's three. And I'm finding it easier 
rather than just trying to put slow pressure on it and go for it just go for it all at once put all your force into it make sure the socket's in properly obviously just go for it just seem to be easier one two three there we go that's all of them undone like I say I could do it with the uh, rattle gun but not everybody's got a rattle gun but uh, a few people have got speed braces uh, there's one two three four five and a jolly good six you must know if you are going to take these out you will need some blue thread lock blue blue thread lock yeah I said that right to put back onto the threads put your bolts on there safe obviously you can see how I don't know if you can see how deep that is both sides really deep The guy who used to ride this bike was asleep, his foot stuck on the brake. So, what next? Next, we can try and get the sprocket off. <coughs> and again, that'd probably be better off standing up when I undo the bolts before I pull the pocket off obviously maybe I should just slacken it just in case it's stuck on there it feels like it is yes well and truly on there it's going to get a bit of piece of wood and dirt push it through because that's well on there try and whack it off whack it off yes give it a good whack off okay. I think so We need a 19 millimeter socket. I bet these are going to be tight. Let's do the same. Lift the wheel up. Wish you don't slip off and poop uh, your skin through that because it would look pretty pretty. Just go full force with this one. Not without breaking the table. <laughs> so, at least you know these are very tight. So I'm just going to use my rattle gun. I'm not messing about. Does anybody have that? Anybody else have trouble trying to get a socket on their rattle gun? There we go. Undo. Come on baby, we can do this. We can do this.
Let's go. Stuts come out on this one, but not to worry. Yes, we've got the old stud out on that one. Come on, that's it. This is a pretty good spot, it looks quite new underneath. Now, I have to try and get that off again. Now you're going to get that off, Johnny boy. You've got nothing to pull it with. Oh, God. I'm going to have to put the disc back on. Put the disc. I'm going to have to put the uh, sprocket back on loosely. And hopefully I can pull the drum out. Which me rubber around that. to the bit of wood. spacer in the middle. You can take out all the cush drives and just pull out normally. And there we go. So let me put that little lot somewhere safe and we can start trying to get the tire off I guess. Okay then, yes, my first idea was put it in the vise to break the bead, but uh, unfortunately the jaws don't open wide enough. So my next plan, I found this old bottle jack, and hopefully I can break the bead with that. If not, I'm pretty stuck, because that is a pretty hard tyre. So hopefully we can break a bead with this old jack and this homemade two bolts that's the jack and all <laughs> that'll just flatten the uh, bolt down so it fits in there <laughs> must have done that years ago anyway let's see what we can do so I think we're going to have to do this down there on the floor Got it? Any ear in it? No, no ear in it whatsoever. So we've got the little valve out. I will be putting a new valve back in it. So let's get on the floor. Okay then, so we're on the floor. So obviously I've got to try and use that piece to try and break the bead. But uh, I, all need, I also need something to uh, wrap around the wheel so I can get some force on it. So what I'm going to do is put this on the underneath, just put it on the top so you can see. Put that as close to the rim as I did. 
put a ratchet strap all the round the bottom, all the way around the wheel, and then tighten the jack up. Will it work? Yeah, let's find out. Let's try it with this old crappy one first. Well, new crappy one. Right then, get the uh, tyre balancing on the jack. Then we've got to get the strap round there and round there. That's going to be good for isn't it? Talk about bloody winging it. Yep, I don't think this is going to work too clever, is it? Okay, let's go for it. It's pretty tight. I'm not uh, catching the wheel. Oh, I should be all right. Something's going, I don't know what's going to snap the strap or the tyre. Yeah, it's going a bit off track there, so I think I better release that and move it up a bit more. So hopefully, you can see that a bit better. Should have done that in the first place, shouldn't I? Hold the jack upside down. I think it's gone. Yes, I think the bead's definitely gone. Looks like I'm going to have to do it in a couple of places. Nope, it hasn't quite gone, has it? Jack the other way round. Hopefully this will work. Sure it's gonna go this time. Got to go sooner or later. I think it must have gone, surely. There we go. Oh, finally. What a ridiculous way to break a bead. Yes, we've done it. Whew. I wasn't too worried about the wheel because I have a spare wheel. Yes, that's definitely uh, broken the bead. If I have done any damage to the wheel, 
it doesn't matter because I've got another one. Right, let me get all this off and then I'll be back with you. Okay then, let me break the bead on the other side and then we'll try and get this baby off. Okay then, so that's the other side broke. lever in on the spoke. So I think that's going to be the strongest point. the third tire lever. Whew. Tell you what, this is hard work. Started to remember how odd this uh, tire malarkey is. side off. Let's try and get the other side off. Tell me we're going to need free again. Each six hands.
Right then, I hope this is going to come off when it's uh, either side of the wheel. Now then, <laughs> can we get the wheel out of there? Oh my god. Now we're going to get the wheel out there, are we? Oh my god. Whoa. That hurt. So there you go. Got the tire off. But I'm not going to lie to you. It did involve an angle grinder. And a lot of danger. So I didn't film it. So, simple as that. Yes, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been useful to you. And uh, any questions or tips, please leave a comment down below. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. Look after yourself, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another light, brother.